In this video, I will be unboxing and testing the Mars Hydro SP150 LED grow light. Mars Hydro sent me this light to test, but didn't put any requirements on what I should say in the video. The SP150 is a new LED light from Mars Hydro, and it seems to be competing with the likes of the HLG in their quantum boards. It is 135 watts and sells for $150, which makes it cheaper than the comparable HLG board, the QB288, which is $188 plus shipping. If there's interest, I can make a separate video that does a more direct comparison between the Mars SP150 and the HLG QB288. Let me know in the comments if that's something you guys are interested in. The SP150 is available from Amazon with free shipping. Included in the box is the hanging hardware and ratcheting ropes. The SP150 does not come with a meanwhile driver, but has a smaller Mars Hydro branded one. It is listed officially at 134 watts, which is something I will be testing later in this video. It is passively cooled with these fins, no fan needed. I will be measuring the temperature of this fixture later after it's been running for some time. I will be also measuring the output of light by measuring the PPFD at different distances. And now here are some of the specs, which were mostly just pulled from the Amazon description of the Mars Hydro website. 134 watts at 120 volts, 139 watts at 240 volts. There are 322 LEDs, which are made by Epistar and rated to last 50,000 hours. This is a full spectrum light with a color temperature of 4,000 Kelvin. Here is the output spectrum provided by Mars Hydro. The light is designed for a two foot by two foot grow area. Its total PPF output is 250 at 120 volts and 280 at 240 volts. The ratio of lumens to PPF is 72. We are going to use this number later to convert readings from a cheap lux meter to the equivalent PPFD value. All you have to do is divide the lux reading by 72. The SP150 weighs in at 5.85 pounds and its dimensions are 23.6 by 3.1 by 2 inches. Now let's take some real world measurements using the Mars Hydro SP150. Immediately after plugging in, I'm reading around 131 watts. Let's wait 30 minutes and see if that wattage has changed and then take some thermal readings. 30 minutes later, and we can see the wattage is still at 131 watts. And now let's take some thermal readings. The back plate is around 108 degrees Fahrenheit. The power supply is 101. The board itself is around 123 degrees Fahrenheit. All of these are pretty reasonable temperatures. Now let's take some PPFD readings at different heights. Here I've prepared a two foot by two foot area with reflective walls to take these measurements in a more realistic condition. You'll notice I'm using a cheap lux meter and not a fancy Apogee quantum sensor. That's because those sensors are over $500 and this was $15. And so I really can't justify the expense. Luckily, we can just use the 72 we calculated earlier, which is the ratio of lumens to PPF. And if we divide the lux reading we get here by that 72 for this specific board, then we can get a very good approximation of the PPFD value. Fruiting and flowering plants need between 400 and 800 PPFD. The Mars Hydro SP150 is able to adequately flower a 2 foot by 2 foot area at 18 inches. I also measured just the center reading of PPFD at 12 inches and 24 inches. In conclusion, the Mars Hydro SP-150 meets or exceeds the specs listed by the company. 
They claimed only 387 PPFD at 18 inches, and I was consistently getting higher readings, dropping down to even lower at 12 inches, and this can be quite a powerful light. I would recommend 24 inches or higher for seedlings or early veg plants only. I think the SP-150 represents a departure from the previous lights Mars Hydro was manufacturing. They stopped the annoying practice of listing equivalent watts in their product names, which I definitely understand they have to do, but, but still. And they're now putting out powerful lights at an affordable price. The efficiency of this light is fairly decent, especially for the price. I can definitely recommend this for a small 2 foot by 2 foot grow area. It's an exciting time in the grow light world and great to see how quickly the LED grow light industry is moving. I'm glad to see Mars Hydro is keeping up, and I'm excited to see where they go from here. If there's something else you'd like me to test with this light, or have any questions I didn't answer, please leave them below in the comments. I'll also be including a link to the Amazon where you can purchase it. Thanks for watching, everyone. Cheers.